example is very heavy. The abayas are heavy. So actually, I think first I'm going to show you my weigh-in from when I was at the doctor's office. I saw a diabetes doctor. I forget the name right now, <laughs> what kind of doctor they are. But um, I am going to show you that weigh-in. I think I was 166 kg. So I will show you that now. All right, and now I will show you what I weighed in today. All right, you guys, today is April 27th, 2024. So I am down some kgs. Um, I'm sorry. I may have to dispute some of that. Hi, everybody. It's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And today we're actually going to take a look at Foodie's grocery haul, which is absolutely predictable. Uh, I think I said yesterday, oh, we'll get a video with the grocery haul. And we are. And we're going to take another look at that way in because I have some questions about it. I think the way in that she just did. Uh, I only saw one foot on the scale. So <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> I I like the fact she had a metal scale because I could see everything in the reflection. And what I saw reflecting was one foot. So, and you kind of don't even see the foot on the scales. You just see a number and you see one foot reflecting, which makes me think, it was your foot coming off off the scale, just one foot, and that's where you froze the screen. It's very weird. <laughs> so I don't think it was a legitimate way in. Absolutely not. <laughs> anyway, let me play my disclaimers real quick. Obviously, this is all just fair use. Uh, it's education, it's entertainment purposes. I am a licensed registered nurse here in the United States, but I am not here diagnosing or treating anybody. Uh, this, like I said, is just for education, a little bit of entertainment. I always want to put out a trigger warning for Chantel's content and a lot of these creators just because we don't know what they're going to talk about or where they're going to go. And so if you do find these types of come conversations around health, mental health, uh, any type of ED, then you probably are going to want to click away from the screen. And if you do like it, please subscribe. I do appreciate it. Certainly got more people watching than subscribing. It's free and it really does help us create this out. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's my, that's my absolute beg on online. That's my begging. And I will, I don't mind begging that way. I'll beg for a, a subscribe. Okay. So Foodie had just did this first weigh-in after having arrived home in Kuwait, what she calls home, which we know she is on a tourist visa. <laughs> we know it's messy. We know her content is very boring. Lots of theories as to why she keeps the content dull. Who knows why? But it is the same. We've had a sanctimonious vlog about how she's going to be changing her health journey um, and how she's going to be doing so much better and she's got all these struggles and she's shown that she's a weight loss queen even though she was drinking unlimited gravy recently uh, from a St. Hervey's uh, dispenser at an airport just a few days ago. Um, but regardless of that, uh, she is a weight loss queen, um, and she had a intake therapy session and now she is, uh, finished with therapy, it seems, <laughs> and just, you know, ready to import with her pearls of wisdom. Um, not really. Anyway, let's take a quick look back at this video because it's kind of wild when you see it. Um, and then we'll take a quick peek, see at her grocery haul, because like I said, the first way in here, uh, the scale just never stops moving. And even when the nurse kind of said the weight, they didn't seem sure. And the doctor's like, no. And so I am not convinced they were even convinced. 
But she also here, this one I think was even in uh, December. I think she even looks bigger than this now because she sat so long for four months and just ate. But anyway, let's take a look. And she goes on. Okay, I'll never call. All right. Okay. And, now and she's like, hmm. And he's like, no. And I mean, she said 166. Hmm. He's like, no. I mean, I heard that not super convinced. <laughs> Whoever the people who were in the room, if that was Salah's voice, if that was the nurse and the physician, I am not sure of how it is, but they did not seem convinced. They just sounded like they were going to get a weight down. <laughs> Which is not good because if you're dosing things on weight, you need to have a very accurate weight. And I would say that scale persistently moving was not giving me a sense that I would have been very comfortable uh, with that way in for her. Okay, so let's take a look at here where she's actually doing her way in here. And if you see the start of it, okay, here I she comes. I'll show you what I weighed in today. All right, you guys. All right. Today is April 27th. Let's look. So here, okay, because we've got a reflection here. So here we got Chantel, and we have her with the camera. So this is what we see, and the scale is off. Okay, so that's what we see. Keep going. 7th, 2024. Okay. We get a jump. Okay, so there's a jump there. And that's whoever... Okay, she omitted the stepping, you know, and, and usually with these uh, electronic sales, you tap it and it will say, hello, you know, I'm ready. She's cut that part out. Okay, let's go next. So we can see very clearly her phone and Miss Chantel in the reflection. Now here, this is interesting because this, she's moving. So what we have here is the weight, her with the camera, and one solitary foot. Not on the scale, okay, but her having a one foot having potentially touched the scale and then come back up. Okay. So, so I don't know what that shows. Why is there a foot of a foot hovering over it? It didn't hear it say the result of the weight. I mean, when I've done a way in to counteract Chantel, I've always made sure that I had the scale say the weight. It's just, I don't know. It's just doesn't look, why aren't we seeing two feet on a scale with you balance that weight on the scale? Why are we looking at some number with a reflection of a foot? Uh, it doesn't tell me anything, except you set the scale to try to somehow read six kilos less than what you used to weigh back in December. You're trying to convince everybody that you sat eating the types of items that we're about to show in the grocery hall at your house when you weren't ordering takeout in your Kuwait home. <laughs> and it's got just a lot of carbs and salty foods and processed foods. So I don't know how you think three months of that type of diet and no exercise and then you going home and not doing much exercise and eating a lot of takeout had you lose weight since Christmas. And everybody knows that's not true. Everyone knows that probably based on you getting six liters of fluid when you went to the hospital in Canada recently is based on a weight closer to 475 pounds to 500 pounds. And we saw your recent reflection 
in the window in Ottawa. And you don't look like somebody who's sitting at the weights that you 360 pounds. Or actually, you're trying to say less than that, like 350. That's just, you're deluding yourself in that. And I think that's not fair to even the people watching you. So I don't know. I think it's not cool. I think it's not cool. And uh, I just don't think that's anything on that way. And I don't know what you're proving except that you're lying. Okay. Let's remove that. It's just more lies. Okay. Let's get this uh, kitchen stock up. It's called Huge Kitchen Restock Hall, uh, which is kind of what we expected. She told us that she is uh, sharing or she had ordered uh, groceries recently and she was waiting for the grocery delivery. And uh, that's kind of usually how it goes. <laughs> Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> hey there, beezers. None of us promote this for you. Okay. Let's get past. All right. Hello, guys. Asala All right. Nicole. First thing I saw it. was this. I'm sorry. Do you have a mirror at the house? Because how did you not even think to wipe it clean before you went on the camera? I don't think that's a good look. It looks like you've got food. Or <laughs> that's where you may have been hit by the birds when you were out eating the pizza. It's not good. Not good, foodie. Have a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be me uh, just showing you how we restocked the kitchen of food because when I went to Canada um, last month I had kind of cleaned everything out and we gave away the remaining food that we had uh, that I know that Salah mm, okay I don't know if we believe this but potentially they had items of food that his family could use in their home or friends could use, and they were accepting it from the household. <laughs> I would never think of it being a full charitable act from this young lady. But I'm sure, you know, she's enjoying getting that, that grocery haul. I would not be using. Um, cooking is not his forte, it's not his job. So he was just ordering and just eating small things like snacks and fruits and stuff like that. So I hate that, and I'm sorry to use the word hate, but I strongly dislike the use of the word job when it comes to having basic things that we need to do in order to survive, to take care of ourselves, and then we reduce it to what we call a job uh, in order to make it seem like, you know, if I have to make a meal for myself, that's a job. Yeah, so it's just, yeah, that's part of life. <laughs> I think we just need to understand that is just part of existing is making good food choices and being able to care for oneself through food. Um, not saying that everyone needs to be a Michelin soul chef, but I think that we need to not have this idea of it being genderized. Oh, I had to restock my entire kitchen because I changed my mind about staying in it and I came back to Kuwait. So Oh. Uh, it is what it is. I had to, uh, you know, organize. I thought that was a stain. It's actually the light that reflects across her head. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Because I suddenly saw, saw it was me. At first, I thought she had like a stain up there, which I would not have been shocked. Well, it's actually the way the light's hitting it. Oh, that's funny. Okay, keep going, Chantel. Let's see. Let's just see what you got, girl. I mean, we understand. You were out of town and the refrigerator got empty. We get it. We get it. <laughs> organize everything. So this is actually a lot of stuff is left out and I have to put it away and reorganize everything. But... Oh, we always do wish to preface that Chantel has lots of different health issues, uh, primarily most related... To I mean, let's, they're all related to food. 
but most related is probably her unmanaged and uncontrolled type two diabetes. So this is the disease that she has the least ability to manage, probably along with any type of cardiovascular issues like blood pressure and heart disease and atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. And the fact that she probably has uh, metabolic syndromes and so forth uh, coming through having uh, diabetes type 2 unmanaged on control and then she probably has like dyslipidemias because of it um she i mean it it, it she has no gallbladder and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease which has a new name but just really long and i won't try to bring that one out but yeah she has it all going on <laughs> and her diet is dreadful um this is the first haul of food and uh, I'll probably still need to um, pick up some things, you know, along the way, um, maybe weekly or something like that, top ups and stuff. But um, we don't have a lot of cupboard and fridge. And as always, she's bought a ridiculous amount of groceries. I mean, she's just always overdoes this for somebody who is you will see maybe one or two meals or it depends on how she's feeling flushed of the pocket because we may see one or two cooked meals then she's going to have a bunch of takeouts and then we might see cooked meals again when she starts running out of money it's 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 always the same here and then she's going to start looking more and more bloated from the sodium content especially with all that tuna Oh, she already, her skin looks very, she just, the one video I saw, I swear she looked like a bowling ball pen. I mean, her face looked like literally like a bowling ball pen. That's what it reminded me of. Even had the redness on it, like all that ready. Mm. Freezer space. So, I mean, we have a pretty standard fridge and of course there's the freezer part and that's what I hate. Like I've always wanted one of those extra little freezers because um, not a huge one, like for like family size, because it's just the two of us. But remind yourself that she's on a tourist visa and she's talking with a romance scammer from international Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> huh? It's not some guy that they met like at college studying together. Okay. No, this is a guy that she picked up and left all of her animal companions behind in order to go be with this person two weeks after meeting him on international tender documented but um sometimes when things go on sale that you can just freeze you know i just or preventing you know leftovers from going bad you can just freeze them so i always wanted with like one of those little this is somebody who had the worst freezer burnt looking vegetables that she added into some pot pie or something. <laughs> I want to say it was a chicken pot pie. <laughs> now she like Martha Stewart over here giving freezer tips for food. Promise you, if you saw the state of those vegetables. <laughs> if... <laughs> freezers but i just never ended up getting one we don't really have the space you know we have just enough space for what we have so um we kind of make do but yeah so a lot of these things are just um staples um a lot of it's uh you know affordable food um groceries here compared to canada are like it's like half price it's it's so affordable i always say like kuwait is like like pre-inflation canada prices like it's um it's it's just it's a very big difference i noticed um things quite bad price wise and that's why we think that she also prefers living in kuwait because she's not at a place where she can establish any type of home in her own country of canada she had made a lot of money maybe admittedly for a short period of time but she made it and a wise person would say you would put the majority away address whatever taxes that you need to pay 
and then take the profits or you invest it in a way that maybe you avoid the maximum amount of taxes being paid on it. But whichever way it worked, she didn't do any of it and finds herself owing money to the Canadian government for taxes and having no money, obviously, to pay them off or then money to begin any type of apartment, home, anything in Canada. So she's better off in Kuwait, basically. Her money goes further. And so it always benefits her to be in Kuwait. She can get the takeout. She can get the... She seemed to be very, even more surprised of the prices have increased since Christmas. You know, things have really, you know, certainly started to rise and rise, you know, frequently. Inflation-wise, when I was in Canada, which is too bad. You know, I know everyone is struggling. So um, I hope that I can do some meal ideas with these groceries, pretty, you know, humble meals where that are affordable and can give people ideas. Maybe we can all share ideas for stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so let's get to this um, grocery haul, Yella. I'm just gonna go around my fridge and cupboards and show you, because I already put some stuff away, some stuff still has to go in, but I'll just show you what I have. All right, let's go. So coming in first, we have some cling wrap for preserving food, wrapping food, and some Kleenex brand uh, paper towel. All right, so here we have, first up, we have a three liter of cooking oil. This is corn oil. I have no idea why it jumped like that. I just see feeds. Why all this oil? I know we know she's bought a ton of oil, like olive oil and stuff, and she just goes through oil, which is insane. All of these like pickles and salty sauces. It's uh jarred but processed. Luncheon meats. I mean, these I would not recommend. She this is this is just for a, a, even at her age at 40 and her lack of activity and how much sodium and salt is in these types of food to act as preservatives, she will be retaining so much water. And I know the girls love to talk about holding water and water retention, but your diets will never get rid of it. I mean, you're beyond. This is wild. And then she got all this carby white pasta down here. <sighs> I just, she just is just, this This is the same as always. Mm, mm. Oil. Use oil a lot in cooking, obviously. Um, I got this Johnson Vita Rich body wash, berry scented. It would be great if you actually did wash your body. Um, I was a cardiac nurse for many years, <laughs> worked in cardiac rehab. So this is the perspective that I come from. This is just, a, a, this is a no. This is an absolute no at this. And then the hot sauce. What a, girl, how are you ever going to get healthy at 40 years old eating this? You know you aren't. So, I mean, I would just stop with the nonsense. Just like, this is the diet that I will continue to eat to take out my pancreas. Because you get a free one with it. So that's a good deal. Um, I left these out of the fridge. I did have some for breakfast, Salah and I. It's very messy, but these are black olives. <laughs> And this is um, mac douce, which is stuffed eggplant. Yeah, it's little eggplants that are like pickled and stuffed with like nuts and peppers and tomatoes and stuff like that, I think. Actually, I don't think there's tomatoes. I'm not sure. But there's definitely peppers. All that pickled is also high in salt. So it's just, it's always, it's so much salt in her diet. It's just very salt heavy and that is not good i mean the fact that she then has so much carb and she's not someone who's out like sweating and you know and the, and most people consume far too much salt as it is but when you have a lot of what she's thinking is home cooked food and it's just a lot of already pre-prepared uh anti-pasto type stuff as we would say uh, in this side of the world and all these 
pastas and sauces and just they all have you're not controlling the amount of sodium and i doubt she even looks on the labels because she can't read it probably there's a nuts and stuff like that inside and you eat it with bread it's really good mm. we have some miniature pickles these are my favorite pickles i love these you guys know this is a repurchase a couple bottles of hot sauce um, it's like the Red Rooster brand, but it's like a more local brand, which is cheaper. We have some luncheon meat. Salah loves this. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Two jars of pasta sauce. Four cans of full, which is fava beans, fava bean stew, which is a breakfast staple here. Some fresh peaches. I love peaches. <laughs> some spaghetti. These are little mini pizzas that I just shove in the air fryer whenever I'm being a lazy housewife and I don't want to feed my husband right away. <laughs> just give him this for a snack or something. That's not for him. That's for you. Because we hear you duper's delight laugh going, girl. <laughs> this is just mm, the air fryer. This is just some process thing. What, what do you, this is probably, what? Just. Mm. you're never going to change if you base your food around a lot of things that are coming pre-made and pre-packaged. How you decide to eat is never going to change. This is not healthy. <laughs> I hope most of you understand that this is not a good choice. She's, she's going to continue to put on weight and she's going to continue to look slow, swollen, pardon me, and she's going to be very sluggish. He likes those. Um, tomato paste is a staple as well. I use that in a lot of cooking. Well, at least that okay. has oh. We have some shells. Mm. We have some vermicelli. Some popcorn. Mm. Some yeah. Parmesan cheese. Some yellow mustard. Some potato buns. These are really good for burgers, homemade burgers. Mm. And some tuna in water. These were a really good deal, actually. So, yeah, I got two of them. Put them over here. Even in water, it has a lot of salt. And she does a lot of tuna. And then I'm sure she's the mayonnaise queen with that tuna. Probably puts a little mustard in there, too. Whatever's for the tuna salad. Hey, I have a family that came from the southern parts of the United States. And I perfectly understand how these diets go. This is how my grandmother cooked originally. This is how my mother thought to cook originally. So, yeah, this is, you know, and I'm not surprised you know, if she's not trying to recreate a meatloaf with a cheese slice soon. I mean, all this burgers, the tuna, all of this is all processed it's not a it's if she's not eating a fresh piece of tuna i uh, tuna is potentially a larger fish it has uh more potential for mercury i understand and uh, along with like swordfish and so forth i don't tend to eat fish i'm a plant-based person so i used to but yeah <sighs> that's just not good not good all right go go Got two of those. Mm. I love tuna and a box of Maggi you know. um, chicken stock. And what I do is I make my own chicken noodle soup. I add the stock to some vermicelli noodles, and yeah. So that's that's that. <laughs> okay. For snacks, we have these pop pops. I got sick of these. I don't really eat them anymore, but Salah loves them so. Um, yeah, it's like a nostalgic food for him. <laughs> He's been eating them like as a kid and stuff. So but they're very popular here. <laughs> this I love. And I'm going to try to eat in moderation. I will eat in moderation. Oh, no. Oops. It's more noodle. Indomie. Now, indomie. How? It's like a lot of noodle. I, I'll let her explain, but... For somebody who 
is trying to manage her glucose and it's oh let's look at these fingers oh oh this does not look good she's definitely clubbed here you can see where the finger is flatter to her surface of her skin where this dark part is and it looks rich. You can see that's the clubbing of the fingertip right up here. So it's flattening out flat. And oh, here it's very much looking clubbed. Then she has these dark rings, which could be potentially signs of liver dysfunction. She's darkened in the knuckles, very swollen in the hands. They're just, this is not, that is not a, it doesn't look like there's like a shine or a pinkness or good blood flow. You'd want to see pink and healthy underneath that nail here. And that's not what I'm seeing. Oh, and now she's, you know, going to explain about how she could eat these noodles, which literally in her body, rice of anything are going to translate to being sugar. In her bloodstream. Me is not a health food, so there's ways that you can make it healthier. If you see the picture, that you can add broccoli and proteins and stuff like that. So, yeah. I probably won't, but we'll see. <laughs> I don't have broccoli. And we also have this Kitco brand variety of chips. I mean, just another pack of processed carbohydrates. She's just talked about the noodles that she's no broccoli, all this food, and all she has hold literally into this house is just packets and packets of carbohydrates. Processed carbohydrate, which in her bloodstream equals sugar. That's not going to go anywhere because she don't have any use of energy. She has no understanding. And then this is the day after she posts that ridiculous vlog or video about the weight loss. That's why she's just toxic and narcissistic and manipulative. Which is still unopened, but you get different varieties of chips here. Ketchup, chicken, salt and vinegar, lightly salted, which is always the last to go. <laughs> Hot and spicy paprika. Paprika tastes like paprika. I don't know how to explain it. Yeah, it's almost like a barbecue. All right, Salah loves these. These are an easy snack for him as well. Cheese puffs and chocolate croissant. These are your snacks, girl. Stop trying to say that there's Salah's, the corn puffs are Salah's, the cheese puffs are Salah's. He, you probably asked him, like, what snacks are good here? He's like, oh, you might like pop pop. <laughs> and you're like, yum. I said, what, two, one dinar, a bag? Shoot, sign me up for five of those. Oh, I'm not even, girl. And then the cheese puffs, oh, those are right up your street. <laughs> and then the chocolate croissant. <laughs> That's your idea of breakfast because you were very upset on the plane the other day that they were giving you something spicy for breakfast and not giving you a, a, a simple croissant and fruit like you were eating like a little delicate French bird. <laughs> and I bought, I had to restock all new spices. So onion powder, garlic powder. These are the staples I cook with. Coriander powder. Um Sweet red pepper and paprika, which is paprika, mixed curry, love curry. This girl's buying quantities, like she's cooking for a family of seven constantly throughout the day, like she's like mama chef in the kitchen, just like got like seven pans rolling at all times, which is not even the case. <laughs> he probably made sure she cleaned out the kitchen before she left. He's like, I don't want the house to smell. You know, oh, just, she's, oh God, the whole box of cucumber over here. Oh no, she's going to be making fatouche.
Oh. <laughs> um, bay leaves, cumin, and uh, what's this? Oh, almonds. You toast those for rice and black pepper powder. So, and here, look at these beautiful cucumbers. Wow, Howie loves these. So these are for Howie and for us. Big case. It's cheaper to buy them in the case. So, fresh from Kuwait Farms. All right, we have some pita breads. I freeze those right away. I sliced some fresh multigrain sourdough and froze it. I love these chickens. These are a staple here. We have a nice cream sandwich <laughs> for Salah. Um, I know you're thinking, yeah, right. <laughs> so these are frozen chickens that I will be cooking. They're very versatile. So yeah. Um, we have here... A double pack of chicken. Just uh, look, just frozen fries, chicken tenders. I mean, just all of this. Just no. Why can't you just get a potato and slice it and and cook it? What what's so hard to do about that with a potato? <laughs> Not hard, girl. It's really one of the easiest things to do. Uh, can you put that in an air fryer? I have no idea. I don't have one. I in use the tenders to put in the air fryer. This is old. This is paratha. Huge bag of French fries. Um, these are really good and so cheap. This whole bag, uh, almost this whole bag, nine hundred gram bag of chicken thighs is like a couple of there is such a lack of nutrients a variety of minerals uh vitamins vitamins as i would say if you it's just so depleted from this diet this is where she gets herself into more health issues it's this is even though you see all this chicken and stuff and some cucumbers this is not a balanced diet None of this is so pro, it's so bad. We had uh, in the past, if you want to look at some of the live streams I've done with our guest registered dietitian cheekbones, and we're going to get to do something again with her soon. Uh, this is just, this is not what we would recommend. So we are going to cover what we will recommend coming up very soon on this channel. Of dollars. And they're really good. I like them. But as you see, but as you see, we don't have much room. So I would have liked to stock up. They were on sale, but I can't. <laughs> Got a couple packs of, it's a mix of, um, don't mind. I have to clean out the freezer again. <laughs> uh, mutton and beef, which is good for kebabs and stuff like that. Some more bread, some ice. We use that for, you know, just drinks and shisha. And some mixed veggies. I love these, just adding these to like rice, like plain rice or something. I love them. Or just on the side of any meal. Okay. Or frozen and freezer burnt and put into a terrible looking pot pie. I mean, this is just, I mean, there's a big old bag of ice in there. <laughs> Usually when you get that type of, that's where she's probably getting the freezer burn from. It's because that ice is in the bag. I don't think that's like, that's a lot of ice. Do you know what I mean? It's a lot of cold. Put that back. It's like Tetris in the freezer. And I'm not good at Tetris, as you can see. <laughs> All right. And lastly, the fridge. Oh, that. Um, we have some yogurts, like flavored yogurts. Oh, um, oh, strawberry, yeah. vanilla. Um, got some butter, chocolate as well. Mm. Okay. Mm. Um, we have some Almirai berry juice. These were already. All I'm seeing is processed, you know, yogurts, those types of flavored yogurts. Those aren't anything. It's all those fats in the yogurts and stuff. I know people think because it's yogurt, it's got to be better, but not all yogurts are good. <laughs> I don't think those types are. And she got all this fruit juice. 
and mayonnaise. Look at the numbers of bottles of mayonnaise in here. I mean, I'm looking at one, two, three. It looks like four bottles of mayonnaise or things that look like mayonnaise. What is up? <laughs> and all this juice. I mean, that's if you ever go hypoglycemic. And with that diet and that amount of juice, that's not possible. Already there, the ketchups and things. Um, I think all of juice spilt here just now. I gotta clean that. Oh. This is um, arugula <laughs> and a huge, oh no, these are green peppers. I have a cabbage somewhere. <laughs> um, as you can see, Sal already had a couple of these for breakfast. These are Rani pineapple juice. We have four quarts of full fat milk. Some Anytime it's something that is obviously not friendly for a unmanaged, uncontrolled type 2 diabetic, Salah is the one thrown under the bus. Salah, I guess, drinks up all the pineapple juice, eats the chocolate ice cream bars, eats the uh, crisps, eats the cheese puffs, eats the chocolate croissants, eats the pop pops, eats anything. Anything except the ramen noodle. That's the only thing she'll claim to. Oh, we know that's all lies. I mean, I'm not saying that he don't come in and grab some of those snacks, but this is food that you like. And I don't know if he likes, but this is a haul for you because that place has been emptied of groceries. And I don't think he eats your cooking, girl. This is just you getting happy, and he grabs what he wants, I guess. Who knows? I don't know, but this is primarily for you. Mm, and it's a lot. To have just come home, and this is what you decide to purchase all this stuff, it's just outrageous. It really is outrageous. You're acting as if you're cooking for this, like, huge family and stuff. I mean, why would you just, it's so outrageous. It's so performative. Barbican, we have some orange juice. I really like having just a glass of this with Ridiculous. breakfast. You shouldn't. Why? Why are you having that? Why you spike your blood sugar up like that? You have no control. You're supposed to change your diet and exercise when you take your diabetic medications. And you are drinking that? Your endocrinologist wants to kill themselves at this point. Endocrinologist, sorry. Wants to like just not, you have no relationship with that doctor. So stop even referring to somebody that you saw so long ago. No sugar added orange. He thinks you're back in home um, in Canada. These are Levin, which is like a yogurt drink. Full fat cream, <laughs> some heavy cream. These were on sale, Mimolet Holland cheese. It tastes like cheddar to me. Two packs. Okay, now we're going to see the ridiculous amount of cheese she's bought. Here, you just, you know, just, it's what it is. It's cheese, it's carbs, it's fruit juices, it's sugars. It's nothing that I see that looks or says anything that I'm changing anything about anything. <laughs> <laughs> Except I'm getting more. We have weight. a whole bunch of um, soft cheeses, Istanbuli cheese, um, some turkey breast. We have what kind of cheese is this? Just like soft white cheeses that I love. And you can hear her just heavy breathing as she explains what's in this refrigerator. I have nothing to say about this grocery haul except no. <laughs> you know, a few of them back there. We have a pack of just pure ground beef. I'm going to cook with that tonight. We have some one fell out here, so I'll show you. This is the yogurt I love. Mm. Fresh sour yogurt. Fresh sour yogurt, Almarai brand. <laughs> this one's a bit bent from falling, but I eat this, you know, with meals, with potatoes, with rice, everything. Um, we have two packs of eggs. Some are missing. I made breakfast this morning. Two packs of mozzarella cheese and three packs of labna. This is the best mayo nor. I love it. This is what she missed. 
because in Canada, she didn't have her own fridge. She couldn't stack up and have all this layers of food and stock out her cabinets and do all this stuff. No. She is probably on a high at the moment because she's got all this stuff in front of her. Now, this is somebody who supposedly admitted she had an ED uh, quite openly. And she's showing this as a grocery haul. <laughs> Figure this out. But I'm going to move it to show you. We have some olives back here. Yes. This is just like moisture on the fridge. <laughs> See, what this person doesn't understand, to me, this just looks like junk food. This looks like junk food. I don't see anything healthy here. All I have seen so far is a lot of junk food. It's just junk. Absolute gunk junk. The only thing that may have survived is the, uh, is the old uh, cucumbers. That's like the, and that sad bag of arugula. <laughs> but everything else is literally junk food. I mean, it's just all packaged, pre-made. That's all this is. It's just junk. I'm sorry. <laughs> but all that juice, it's junk. It's, I just, I think we need to start to be really honest about this. This is a fridge of junk. So that's the fridge right now. Yeah. And as you can see here, we have a lot of water because we don't. And what a disgrace to the environment, Chantel. You have all day to boil the water if you don't think the water's safe. And in Kuwait, oh, low sodium, great. I just look at all that. That's terrible. I have a water filter. And when I lived in Mexico, we boiled the stuff. We just had boiled water all day long. We didn't buy any of these, any of this stuff. I think in the schools, we had the refill jugs and things. But you even have to be careful about where they source their water from. So a lot of times you're just better off just boiling the stuff at the house. You know, I mean, it would, it was tough, but it would make the drinking water and the stuff to brush the teeth. You just don't swallow in the shower. Don't drink from the tap here. So this is a, a staple. <laughs> See, that's so wasteful. Uh, that's why I said, because I've lived in the country, I've had to boil the water. <laughs> that's what even the locals did to stay safe, just to be safe. On the safe side of Mexico City, you boiled that water. And if you were traveling and they had the bottled waters at the hotels, at the sink and stuff, that's for you to brush your teeth with, to be a little safer, hopefully. That's not to, I mean, you can drink it, but <laughs> to, to avoid the tap water when you're, you know, brushing and rinsing your mouth too. So that's what that's for. <laughs> what are you doing? All right, guys. Well, that was my grocery haul. So I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I always show you guys what I got. I also have a huge cabbage there in a bag on the ground. You know what cabbage looks like. It's huge. I'm going to pickle some. I'm going to stir fry some. And uh, I might also make... She does not pickle the cabbage. She just gets like pickle juice that's been used that her hand is coming in and out of and she just sticks the cabbage in it it's like so unhygienic and nasty she does not actually know how to pickle something i've never seen this woman actually correctly like use pickling spices and do a pickling process <laughs> there's nothing like sealing a jar <laughs> this woman does not pickle okay I have come, my grandma used to pickle stuff, girl. Okay, I kept telling you, my grandmother was from Virginia, <laughs> where I'm from. Believe it or not, with this funky accent. I'm an Anglo-American, if you're curious. All right. Ugh, this is a junk food haul. Um, mashi, which is um, stuffed cabbage, like cabbage rolls, kind of. Arabic cabbage rolls. <laughs> so, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed showing you what's in my kitchen. And like I said, just going to make some easy, quick and easy recipes um, tonight. Going to make something with the ground beef. So stay tuned for a video on that, inshallah. And I hope you all have a blessed day. Bye, guys. Mm. I would say that's probably one of the worst diets I've ever seen. <laughs>
It's really bad. Wouldn't recommend it at all. All right, guys, let me just get on out of here. If you do like this type of content, just make sure you subscribe, hit the likes, and leave me a picture of a food item in the comments. Leave me some type of food item, whatever type of food item. And uh, I appreciate it. All right, guys, till the next time. Bye.